All right, so let's get into the reading for my Pisces. If, if finance, career come through, we will pull those as well and health. All right, so what do we got for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Pisces. Ooh. Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Very strong energy with Pisces. All right, you're in your own element here, which I love, 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 love. All right, so let's get us focused. Walking away or thinking about walking away from a connection, Eight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone walks away from you. You have Hermit, Virgo energy reversed, all right? Or someone is not interested in coming out of Hermit mode or um, someone could have ghosted. Yeah, walks away, ghosted. Let's see, Pisces. Oh, yeah, we have the Four of Cups. So what else? The King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, and also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Virgo is here. So someone, ooh, okay. We have the Queen of Wands jumping Someone could have walked away or someone is really in their head here, all right? Um, yeah, so you might be dealing with also a Virgo who's thinking about a connection with you. Let me see, Pisces. King of Coins, Reverse, and the High Priestess. So something secretive about a Virgo, all right? Pisces. Someone who has in Venus. Now you got two kings reversed, and now here's the queen. And Will of Karma is in your favor. Wow, and healing. Love it. Okay, so Capricorn energy. You have Capricorn upright. Um, king of coins reversed. All right, so two masculine energies reversed. But you have a Capricorn who's in the energy of a positive Capricorn. You have the six of swords moving away to Karma Water. So someone could be walking away. All right, Pisces, or have walked away. Um, let's see what we have. We have now the Four of Swords, Aquarius, the Gemini. Maybe someone is not interested in talking, communicating, or wasn't interested, but now they are with that Four of Cups and the Hermit and the Four of Swords reversed. Meaning now someone wants to come out of the shadows and speak and communicate with you. Now, if someone had a... Um, a trust issue, which I see with the Seven of Swords. Someone is trying to figure things out. What is the advice for my Pisces for this beautiful reading so far? Move that over. What is the future advice? And the Queen of Cups and Upright. So we're going to take her. All right. And we have the... Page of Wands. Wow, beautiful. So someone wants to offer you a new passion, a new beginning. You might have a conversation with someone because someone feels conflicted and confused. Seven of Cups. All right, so you got met someone new. Maybe you guys are both kind of like trying to, trying to get to know each other. All right. Conflict of interest. Maybe someone is, um, Someone doesn't trust and they're talking to the wrong people, getting false information. So someone is in their head. This could be you or your partner. This could also be a business partner or someone you work with. Who's Eight of Cups reverse for my Pisces? Who's reverse for Pisces? Oh, Five of Cups and the Strength Heavy Leo. So someone is missing and mourning someone from their past. Very heavy border Pisces. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could also be someone you just met. Someone's having major like regrets for how they behaved, perhaps. And they might be full, full of shame or embarrassment here with that hermit reversed. Why is the hermit here for Pisces? We will do the partner extended today as well. Yesterday I was under the weather. Uh, Six of Wands. All right, so someone's ego and pride. And they're trying to set aside their ego and pride, maybe. All right. Why is the... Um, King of Swords here first. Oh, wow. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. A lot of masculine energy, Pisces. So if this is not your energy, which this is your reading, you could be dealing with the Aquarius, the Gemini, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Heavy. Someone who's into their, in their head a lot, maybe listening to their wrong energies. Yes, two days ago was the full moon, so maybe someone is overwhelmed over analyzing things why is the four cups this could be your energy judgment wow very judgmental karma here all right maybe someone is judging a connection maybe judging you falsely not knowing you misperceptions of you why is this uh king of coins reversed 
Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Pisces. So you have this Virgo, um, Taurus, Capricorn, or most likely Virgo energy where someone clearly can't see what's ahead of them. I'm getting that uh, this person can't really see you. They're trying to pick up on your energy, but they can't. They cannot. They cannot read the Pisces. All right. So, yeah, something you can't see. When someone is ungrounded, you have a Capricorn here who might um, help you do things or someone who might um, be by your side who's a Capricorn. Who's a Capricorn for Pisces? Wow. Okay, so we have the King of Swords again, reverse. Wow. So this King of Swords could be very vicious, very um, revengeful. Um, also a Capricorn could be, but this person is definitely in their mindset, in their head a lot. A crazy Gemini, very heavy error and error energy. A, this person could have a crazy a Libra um, Gemini rising. Okay, why is the Six of Cups reverse? Like not trying to uh, deal with any more obstacles. You tr you starting to put your foot down on what you will and will not accept. Why is the Six of Swords reversed for Pisces? And you have this Eight of Cups again walking away and it's an upright. It's like you're walking away from a lot of foolery and fuckery here. Um, Knight of Cups as well. You're tired of easily. If this is a love connection, you're sick and tired and tired of being sick of giving your heart so easily away to undeserving people. So you're taking a rest. Okay. You're not even, even though it's reversed, you're thinking about coming out of that, but you're afraid because you don't trust really. All right, so you're trying to listen to your intuition, but you have someone else in your energy who's maybe influencing you negatively and maybe making you go in your head. A crazy bitch, I'm not Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Very heavy energy. Why is the fourth source for Pisces? Okay, Aquarius and um, Taurus. Okay, so you have that uh, Aquarius healing energy. Now, these could also speak of you or not feeling well, like myself, a little under the weather. Could also speak of someone might need your healing help. You also have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, is about commitment. All right, so maybe you want to heal some past pain, some people you're not talking about, maybe talking about some, maybe someone's talking about you. You want to heal a connection where maybe someone walked away. All right. Or someone wants to heal a connection with you. Okay. Seven of Cups reverse. Why is Pisces confused? And we have two. We have the Eight of Wands. Message is coming in here. And the Justice. So you have karma twice. Judgment, justice. Some type of karma, Pisces, is here. Or some type of judgmental energy. Um, you do have messages coming in. It could be from a check. Or some type of legal entity, all right. Regarding some type of legal uh, case, also could be speaking about a marriage or commitment here. Okay. So let me see. Why is the uh, Queen of Cups here for Pisces? Someone might call you or contact you about a marriage. Someone who walked away, or this is your energy. We have the Queen of Wands. All right. So Aries, the Sag here, reversed. Now that could be an energy of, actually I like it together, but you might be disagreeing with an Aries, the old Sag here, Pisces, okay? You do have an apology or a passionate new beginning here with this Aries, the old Sag coming through fire is now coming through this reading. That was the Hermit reversed. So again, someone could have ghosted. Someone could have took passion and left on Valentine's Day or something. Why is the Page of Wands here for Pisces? Why is this passion? Also speak of a job. Wow, you have money coming in as well. Okay, so you're not defensive energy. You have nine, nine, nine of swords, reverse, and the queen of swords. Very firm energy, Pisces here. Um, so you have the um, Ace of Pentacles coming in for your future, as well as the Nine of Wands letting down your guard and taking a risk. It can also be relationship, a new house, a new job, excelling, getting a promotion. What is this? Seven of Swords, but something you are afraid. You don't trust something, right, Pisces? What is it that Pisces don't trust? And here's the Ace of Pentacles in the star. So it could be something regarding money. One more for a while. Yeah, of course, money. Three and four pentacles. 
All right, so that's you giving away your love or money too much, and you're not seeing the results of all of that. Yeah, look at this. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, pain here. Trying to heal from people who are deceiving you constantly. Okay. Let's get one more for a bonus for my Pisces birthday. Also, I have healing the star again. Eight of Wands. So, someone is going to contact you, text you. They might even text you right now while you're watching this video to communicate. Okay. Someone really likes you. And then you have someone who is regretting. Now, this could be you, Pisces, as well. What is the advice here? All right, so masculine energy. Now, we do have several kings. Maybe you would be a little aggressive with someone. Okay, you could be feeling a little bad about that energy as well. Maybe someone is, has a lack of trust regarding finance, money, or a relationship. Let's get some more cards for Pisces. A new love. Wow, the twin flame and waiting. So you're waiting for a twin flame or a message. And you also have new love. So some people are waiting for new love. No longer ex no longer um, wanting the person from your past. You're waiting for new love. So it might be a masculine energy or someone who has Aries, Leo, Sag in the charts as well as Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could also be a Virgo and Leo here, I see. New major arcanas. Yeah, the Taurus and Libra. See you in the next extended as, as well as Aquarius. Oh, this is the moon. I'm sorry, Pisces. So another Pisces Cancer as well. So secrets. Ooh. All right. So see you next extended. Let's go into the hidden secrets. A partner want to tell you. God bless. Namaste.